Hello again, and welcome to another episode of the Blue Comet News. I am Kaylee Richards. On October 6, the 2017 Fall Homecoming King and Queen were announced. Band nominated Dominique Buchanan and Ben Ramsey. Cross Country nominated Mackenzie Tavares and Jacody Hockett. Football nominated Jenna Greer and Hunter Leiden. Girls Golf nominated Isela Ayala and Austin Ludaw. Girls Tennis nominated Taryn Seeley and Brayden Robinson. The Spirit Squad nominated Aubrielle, Embody, and Jonathan Niederbrock. And finally, the volleyball team nominated McKenna Flowers and Cleet Carlson. In the end, Isel and Jonathan left with the crowns. Congratulations to both. With every homecoming, there is Spear Week. Here are some highlights from the pep assembly. God, if you close you out. Once again, I'm Kaylee Richards and you're watching Blue Comet News. Hey Comets, it's me Riley. And me Mason. We're here today to tell you about CHS senior Casey McMillan's haunting hobby. If you read the Comet, you might have already heard this story. But we are here today to dive deeper into the Casey's haunting experiences. When did you first notice the hauntings? I first noticed when we moved in about fifth grade with my mom's new fiance. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what goes on in your house in regards to the haunt or to the spirits? Well, they bang on the walls, they footsteps, um, I've had a candle thrown at my bed, slamming doors, uh, I was actually scratched one night, and that was when everything escalated. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have any idea who or what the spirits want? I don't really know what they want, but I know one of them's name is Thomas. There's eight total. I actually just had to know demand them to leave one night but I don't know if they're gone <laughs> well that's awesome thanks for coming in and talking to us no problem wow Riley that interview was really Mick killing it yep that's right goodbye hey there comments are you in the Halloween spirit if not we're here to help today we're going to be making Halloween candy bark and witch fingers first we're going to be making witch fingers what you'll need is some pretzel rods chocolate almond bark, green food coloring, almonds, a large bowl, and parchment paper. What you will need to do is place some almond bark in a bowl and melt it in the microwave. Now we wait. Next, you'll be taking some green food dye to make the chocolate light green. Yeah, this is going to need a lot of food coloring. Now that it's light green, we'll be taking our parchment paper, laying it down, and getting our pretzel rods. Next, you'll take a pretzel rod and put it in the chocolate three-fourths away. Next, you will take some almonds and place them on the end of the pretzel rod, like so. To create the fingernail of the witch's finger. After placing the almonds on the pretzel rod, you put them in the freezer and let them cool for an hour or two. Next, we will be making Halloween almond bark. The ingredients you will need is candy corn, candy eyeballs, Chocolate almond bark, mini Kit Kats, and M&Ms, along with a large bowl. And parchment paper. What you'll need to do to melt the almond bark 
is put it in a bowl and put it in the microwave till melted. Next, you will pour the chocolate onto the parchment paper in the pan, like so. Next, we will decorate the chocolate with different things, such as M&Ms. Oh my gosh. Candy corn. Kit Kat. and candy eyeballs. So just a couple of other notes. When you take them out of the fridge, you will need to break them into individual pieces for family and friends to enjoy. There you have it. I hope you have a spectacular Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Comet fans. I'm here today to give you an update on the fall sports teams here at CHS. A few of the teams have finished their seasons. The football team's current record is 4-4. Four four. They played the Independence Bulldogs last Friday in a must-win situation to advance to the playoffs. An update will be given soon on the outcome of the rest of their season. The state cross-country meet will be on October 28th. Reno Lemon was the only one to qualify and will be supporting Chinook High School. Reno was also the SCK League champion, which will be the first one for Chinook High School. Volleyball Girls Varsity ended Saturday, October 21st with a loss against Augusta. They ended their season with a 27-10 record and second place in the SEK. Tennis season came to an end at regionals. There were many newcomers to the team this year. The girls had a great season and are ready to see what the future may hold for them. Hey, I'm Riley. And I'm Mason, here with Blue Comet News. Close to two years ago, Chanute High School lost a student, loyal friend, and loving family member. Carly Allman started an amazing trend during the month of November. Every day, she posted what she was thankful for. Recently, Carly's family compiled all of Carly's posts into a book. Some of Carly's friends also painted a space for her on Senior Lane. We spoke with Cheyenne Condor. And what is it that you plan to present to the school? I'm going to present Carly's book, The Carly Challenge, Attitude of Gratitude to the school. Awesome. What impact do you think that Carly's life had on others? Um, she had a very strong impact on others in many different ways, um, helping us being more, like, she taught us a lot on thankfulness, and that's part of what her book is about. We're all more thankful for everything in life now. How do you think the book will impact the people who read it? I think it's going to help them realize a lot of stuff, and it's going to make them be as more thankful as well. Awesome. Hi, I'm Jade here with Blue Comet News. Are you in for a scare? The following footage is of some of your fellow students going through the one and only Shattered Souls Haunted House. Ah! Oh my God, I don't like this. you'd be brave enough, strong enough, or tough enough to do what they did? Go check out the Shattered Souls Haunted House in Independence, Kansas to find out if you have what it takes to go through. Once again, I'm Jade with Blue Comet News. Happy Halloween!